Hi guys, I'm doing another Corky Batman review, and today I have my <clears throat> 1950s DC Comics Two Face car. This is a 143rd scale die cast vehicle, and I'll just show you the package. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is essentially the package what uh, this 2000 Batman Hush style Batmobile came in. Remember, I just did a review of this earlier, but I don't have the package for it. But this is essentially what it did look like, except it's a 2000 Batmobile and what have you. Here we have a nice kind of artist's rendition of Two-Face from the comics. It looks very, very cool. You've got a reflection of him in the mirror. Here you've got his good side, bad side and the coin with the scratched up side. DC, 143rd scale vehicle. Corgi's website, 2005. So, well, that's quite old actually, nearly 10 years old. This is just for kids, you know, 3 years of age, whereas all the other ones are 14 years of age. <clears throat> kind of bat signal like logo here with the Two Face car. And here we have a nice kind of synopsis here about living Batman with Corky's new line of Batmobiles. So yeah, just pause that if you want to read it, and here we get a picture of it and its action feature. So yeah, just leave that there. This really is a nice car, you know, um, but just the overall design of it. Start with the front. I like how they've split it in half to represent Two-Face. This line here where they separate it is a bit bent, but I don't mind. Here we have the uh, kind of front bumper made out of a nice matte silver plastic looks nice and the headlights are also different colours and you've got a grill here which I'm glad they just decided to keep the same basic colour here we have a two-faced coin except they've split it so that this side is good and this side is bad it looks very very nice and it says 19 hold on let me have a quick look at that off camera 18 sorry 1887 it says just about make it out there, but well, anyway, and turning it around, we don't really see where the doors are, but um, yeah, I like how the alloys are kind of a metallic uh, matte silver with some nice uh, treads on the bottom, it's pretty plain, and it's uh, silver plastic with a very nice sculpture and or sculpt of a uh, two face there, as all the other Batmobiles have. Which looks very very cool. Um, we get headlights with kind of thin things at the back, and uh, kind of blue blued out uh, windows, windscreen, which is nice. Here is the back bumper, which looks nice. I don't understand why these are black. They could have been yellow, I suppose, or yellow and purple. But oh well. Here, this is yellow. Well, this is purple. Looks very nice. The paint isn't the best on the yellowish side I'm just not a big fan of it but this side is fantastic I mean just the overall look of it and the feel of it, it feels rough like sandpaper or glass paper it's very nice the paint here looks nice as well it has the same kind of thing and whereas on this side it's yellow here but green here which I do like because the green looks very very nice and the paint oh, it's awesome well, this is like a matte yellow with a bit of gloss. This is a kind of mattish green as well, but with a nice look to it. And it's very, very cool. You also get a boot or trunk here. It doesn't open, but it looks nice nevertheless. And um, the hood or boot does open. Well, sorry, uh, bonnet does open upwards like that with a nice circle there. Showing you the engine, which is also coloured, but in the different way, so purple, yellow, and say yellow, purple, which looks nice actually because it breaks up the engine and you can actually make it out a bit better. But yeah, this is a very, very cool quality car. And as far as rolling goes, it's something I find quite important. It rolls very nicely. It's the best rolling corgi car I have actually. Yeah, just something I like, but yeah, you might find it's a bit weird. I also like how the tyres are kind of covered at the back, I do like that design and it just rolls superbly and I absolutely love it 
And as far as scale goes, it fits in rather nicely with the uh, 70s style Batmobile, as you can see there. As far as the 80s go, yeah it does as well. And with the 2001. Well, they obviously all fit in scale because they're all 143rd, but still, it's nice to see them all together. This is absolutely wonderful. I'd highly recommend you pick it up if you can find it. I picked it up at the same store I picked up uh, these two, the uh, bronze collection set. Uh, I think I paid about 12 or £15 pound for this car in particular, and it's beautifully made, and I love it. It's very nice. I would give it a kind of 8 out of 10, because it is once again brilliant, but you don't have any real features to it. Uh, inside you can make out how they've uh, kind of changed the colour around for the seats and everything as well. Even the steering wheel is purple. There's some nice detail like on the door section, there's detail like kind of stitching on the chairs. I can make it out and if I unscrewed it and what have you, you could see it, but I'm not going to do that just in case I break it. But um, anyway, yeah it's awesome. I'd Actually, you know, I'd give it an 8.5, bit biased because I, I'm a big, big, big fan of this car, but I absolutely love it. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed my video, and I look... Oh dear, dear, dear. Sorry, car. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed my video, and um, yeah, stick around for more corky reviews. Take care, guys.